Dear colleagues, dear chairman, it's a great honor for me to share this you my experiences in uh, forensic nursing science from Switzerland on this conference. And I would like to take this great opportunity to thank to Virginia Lynch for her competent expertise and support in the development and implementation of forensic nursing science in Switzerland and in, and in Europe. It's uh, not at least to her honor that I'm able to share uh, this year the results of development of forensic nursing in Switzerland. Here you see the overview of my topics I would like to present on this conference. Welcome to Switzerland. Um, Swiss cities uh, consistently rank among the best places to live on the world, scoring especially for um, uh, high for national beauty, personal safety, infrastructure and earning potential. Switzerland lives up to, uh, to this reputation to being safe, efficient and clean. Children can walk themselves to school during the day and streets are safe at night. This is how Switzerland is lovingly described on most tourism portals. But the reality is deceptive. Switzerland is not entirely free of violence. The criminal prosecution authorities in Switzerland will only investigate a violent crime if a crime criminal report has been filed. This can be done either by the injured person themselves or by the third party. The current situation in the healthcare is that the surviving victim of an assault seeks the medical attention first. Many victims of violence do not want or cannot uh, file, uh, feel the criminal charges. They go to the doctor with their injuries and get treated, examined, treated, and go home again. Only much later forensic documentation is requested. Usually at that time, specific injury features or DNA evidence are already gone. Nurse is oftentimes the first person who see the patient coming to the hospital. The role of the nurse is very versatile from the patient care to the administrative work. Patient comes with a need for a medical treatment. The forensic, uh, forensic need is not obvious at first, but a nurse may be in the best position to perform a forensic examination and documentation. What do microorganisms and DNA have in common? Well, we know they exist even though we can't see them. We influence their replication, reduction, and um, their transmission. In clinical practice, the reality is usually as follows. Dirty hands or dirty clothes are primarily considered as a potential source of infection. This means that the skin is cleaned and the clothing is disposed of. Only later, the question of forensic relevance of this dirt arises, but for the subsequent forensics, is it usually already too late? You see, these clothes may be just be dirty, but maybe they also contain biological traces or other important evidence. We don't know. Well, between an injury and the first medical and diagnostical treatments, you often don't have a lot of time. But this is the only available time frame for a prompt documentation, photography, and recording of findings on site. Forensic nurses on site provide a lot of services, what, which I would like to outline on this slide. It is an early recognition of vital suspicious situations, a prompt, accurate, and precise documentation, interdisciplinary professional advice, communication between involved services and examined person, objective and legally sound docu documentation of uh, findings and correct handling uh, of samples and traces, and last but not least, long lasting quality assurance and beyond. Please note that forensic nurses on site are clinical investigator and not criminal investigator. So 
Uh, let me introduce the current situation in Switzerland. 2016, the Swiss Association of Forensic Nurses was founded, which is dedicated to the national wide implementation of forensic nursing in Switzerland, but also internationally. The title forensic nurse on the certificate of advanced studies level or an equivalent level is not protected in Switzerland and may therefore not be used as an independent professional title. In Switzerland, where the healthcare system is um, at the high level compared to the other countries, we still have a major need for intervention to better protect um, victims of violence. Even though the relevance of forensic nurses seems to be clear, there is still a significant need for improvement and um, in the implementation of forensic nursing in Switzerland. For this reason, Swiss Association Forensic Nursing has released a forensic nurse profile. A forensic nurse profile is considered as a basis uh, for further regulations between the involved interfaces and um, forensic nursing, uh, forensic nurses in the me forensic medical context. This profile um, contains includes four core elements, and I would like to introduce uh, you these four core elements. One of them is a data collection process. Forensic nurse performs a um, forensic assessment and records the findings in the forensic uh, for, uh, assessments and performs the assessment of the entire situation. It includes documentation, photography and somatic documentation. And one of the uh, important things um, or um, topics that, that is recorded findings belong in the patient's medical history file. The next core element is the forensic assessment. Forensic nurse uh, as a case manager is responsible for complete documentation of findings and professional preservation of evidence for interdisciplinary management, preservation of forensically relevant evidence, clinical assessments of the entire situation, consulting and um, um, the forensic nurse has also to know the legal and professional standards and ethical principles. One of most important things is that forensic nurse has to know its professional limits and or delimitations to the task areas of this uh, of the interfaces and gets timely professional support if necessary. The third part is a knowledge management. Uh, forensic nurse knows legal principles and uh, procedures for recording, preserving and sharing evidences uh, and findings. Forensic nurse applies methods to rec record, preserve and disclose evidence and findings in the manner that can be used in court. And um, uh, forensic nurse fulfill, uh, fulfills his or her role as an expert in forensic matters in her or his unit. Especially in delicate cases, this task is very difficult and time consuming one and often requires extensive close interdisciplinary work. Coming to the last core element, it's organizational process. Forensic nurse has to know and involve the relevant interfaces in the timely manner taking into account legal aspects, for example, police, forensic medical examiner, law enforcement, um, and others, organize forensic interve intervention, carries um, them out in the monitor and monitors them on the basis on the in-house or institutional uh, um, directives and guidelines. Forensic nurse coordinate any appointments with the examined person and interfaces and regulates and documents the securing, storage, and transfer of forensically relevant evidence. The implementation of the profile forensic nurse requires a professional practice with the interfaces with forensic relevance, which is obligatory completed by regular further education and advanced ongoing training in forensic nursing. 
But coming back to the relevance of forensic nursing in the daily practice, to be fast is good, but to be close is better. Due to regulated requirements and fields of action, forensic nurses are able to handle complex forensic tasks, also regardless of, uh, of whether the authorities, for example, police, uh, public prosecutors, officers, and others are already involved or not. But all involved interfaces are well advised to know their own institutional, but also personal responsibilities, resources, and limits. Because forensic nurses are not um, criminal investigators or forensic doctors. Forensic do doctors are not police officers, and police officers are not prosecutors. However, the transitional area uh, in the responsibilities and competences can be very fluid and requires a special caution. Here you see the possible professional environments of forensic nurses. It's an emergency room, uh, pedi pediatrics clinics, geriatrics, psychiatrics clinics, um, correctional facilities, and other, many, many other. In fact, everywhere where persons are treated or counseled after suffering violence. How is our forensic nursing mission in the future? My personal opinion is that it's our professional obligation to provide patients with the best possible medical care. But it's also our professional responsibility to ensure that patients receive their, their rights after the act of the violence. If we continue to stay focused on our common mission, to um, continuously educate ourselves, to exchange experiences and expertise nationally, nationally, but also internationally, we will establish forensic nursing science as an essential part of the modern patient care. And each of us can contribute to this. Thank you very much for your attention.